YouTube, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy Superior, we back with another video. Y'all might hear chickens outside, y'all might hear parrots, y'all might hear all type of stuff, bro. My neighbor's animal's going crazy, okay? My bad, okay? But anyways, look, man, I'm about to show y'all boys some of the best ship moves, the best ship moves on six fives and up. So if you got a six seven, a six eight, a six nine, or even a six ten, this is valid. From six five to six ten, this is the video for you, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all boys some of the moves that you could uh, use on those bills. So let's start off with the six. Actually, hold on. Before we get into the six, hit that like button for me real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button for me real quick. Check out the playlist in the description. It's called NBA 2K23. Tutorials and tips playlist. Tons of moves in there. Anyways, on to the six, okay? So. <clears throat> Let me show y'all boys some of the best six of each category that you can use. For so for dribble style, um, the only one I'm gonna really recommend for six five and up is Michael Jordan. Okay, if you're on a smaller build, Chris Paul is actually good. Gabby Williams, actually Gabby Williams is good too. So Michael Jordan, Gabby Williams is good too. Um, yeah, those are the only two I'm recommending on a six five and up. Gabby Williams and Michael Jordan. Even on like 6.4s and 6.3s, people still use Michael Jordan, but I prefer Chris Paul so I can do the speed glitch. If you want to know how to speed glitch, I have I've made a video on that already. I'll have it in the cards above, and I'll probably have it at the end screen. You can go check it out. It's in that playlist I'm telling you about. <clears throat> Anyways, signature size up. Um, so I'm going to recommend the Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's one of the best ones for 6.5 and up. Tracy McGrady and Dwayne Wade, okay? Some people use Jalen Suggs. Eh. I, I, you could try it, but these three right here, top tier. Dwayne Wade, Tracy McGrady, and Ante Tacumpo. I was actually using Tracy McGrady at the beginning of the game before the D-Wade came out. The D-Wade came out this season, so I put that on the player now, but before I was using the McGrady. And I was actually using the McGrady on my 6-3 and my 6-4, even though I had all these other stuff. So McGrady is really, really good. It's slept on. A lot of people don't know how good it is, so you could definitely check out the McGrady. I was using Giannis and Dwayne Wade from last year on my 6-7, so that's how I know it's already good. For the size up escape, bro, no doubt, hands down, the best one on 6-5 and up is John Wall. Nothing can compete. And as a matter of fact, I think John Wall is the best regardless of height, bro. I think John Wall is the best even on 6-4, 6-3, 6-1s. I think it's still the best. But John Wall and Trey Young are the two best in my opinion, but you cannot get Trey Young on a 6-5 and up. So john wall right another good one that you could use too is kevin durant and luka Doncic. but they're not messing with the john wall still okay but you could also use those if you want but john wall is the best option in my opinion for the moving crossovers you have a few options okay now lebron james is number one i use that on every build regardless of height so great for like connector combos zach levine i, I was using that for a little bit early in the game it's pretty pretty cool uh, the pro is amazing, and I think Kobe's decent too. If I if I'm not remembering correctly, if I'm remembering correctly, I meant. Um, for the behind the back, I use pro on my six seven. Um, Allen Iverson is really good on a six seven as well too, but if you're trying to like combo a lot out of it, I don't recommend the Allen Iverson. It's really good. It kind of resembles that um what behind the back was it? Kind of resembles the explosive behind the back to be honest, and you could actually get crazy explosive behind the back animations out of this same behind the back right here too. So actually, Allen Iverson is good, just not good for comboing like immediately into combos. Uh, the Zach Levine is actually pretty good too, so you can use Zach Levine, Allen Iverson, and Pro, but I recommend the Pro above all. You know what I'm saying? If you're on a smaller guard, I recommend you go Dame Lillard, but since you can't get it on this build, I recommend Pro. All right. For the basic spins, um, Kawhi Leonard and normal. I mean, Kawhi Leonard and basic. Those were the best ones. Um, Kawhi Leonard, because you could get that, uh, what you call it, that spin four from like 2K20, 2K19, 18, and 17. The one that could chain into like a uh, half spin combos and a lot of stuff like that. And he could give you like half spin going towards the basket. And he could give you like, and you could chain into like half spins coming away from the basket. So Kawhi Leonard. And basic, those two are the best spins in my opinion, regardless of height. But since you're on a 6-5, these two, try them, bruh. Moving hesitation. Moving hesitation is really slept on. A lot of people don't know how important the moving hesitation is, or they don't know how to utilize the moving hesitation properly. So a good moving hesitation is Rajan Rondo. I've been using that since 2K20. I'm not sure if you could get John Wall on a 6-5. I haven't checked, but if you can, you could use the John Wall as well, okay? Um yeah that's really it for them for the um james harden used to be good to last year haven't I, i'm not sure if you could tr uh put it on a six five and above this year but if you can you could try those 
Um, moving step back, hands down in my opinion, the Jimmy Butler is the best moving step back in the game. Um, because you could get quick stops out of it. It's good. It's man, it's just top tier. So Jimmy Butler, Luka Doncic is what I recommend. Those two. Um, there's other decent ones. James Harden is decent. Chris Paul, I ain't gonna lie, is good, but if you're a beginner dribble, you don't really know how to dribble, I don't recommend it. This is for dribble gods and dribble gods only, like a combo demon. If you're not one of those, don't even mess with it. You're gonna you're gonna suck, okay? So Luka Doncic, Jimmy Butler, okay? Um I'm putting Luka Doncic a little bit more on tier with it simply because this year you you have adrenaline bars and I used to use this as like a freeze move to stun defenders a lot like like spam it to the left and to the right but you can't really do that this year because you have adrenaline bars but it's still good because you could um it's good for quick stop and goes it stuns them if you have what's it called ankle what's, what's the move tight handles and you can quick stop off of it so Jimmy Butler Luka Dantich all right on to the triple threat styles. This doesn't really matter too much. You can really just choose whatever you want. I got Devin Booker. Um, and yeah, flashy passes don't really matter too much on current gen. On next gen, they matter a lot. I don't really know the good ones on next gen because I don't really play next gen as much. And by the way, everything that I'm saying applies to next gen. All these moves right here, okay? Now, dribble pull-ups, I use... It's really tricky on a 6.5. You can use whatever you want, but I use Michael Jordan. I, I, I mix it up, actually. I use sometimes I use Jordan, then I use Harrison Barnes, and I'm just all over the place in my dribble pull-up on my 6.5 and up. But on my 6.3, 6.4, I use uh, Trey Young. Uh, I have nothing on a spin jumper. I don't do spin jumper on this bill. For the hop jumper, normal too, bro. Hands down, normal too is the best one. Um, bro, you could do some crazy stuff out of the hop jumper normal two on a six five and up. So hop jumper normal two, okay? Um, let me see what else is in here. I have seen that's locked, locked, locked. Yeah, hop jumper normal two, bro. You kind of want to go with that one. All right. Um, so that's really it for the six. Now on to some dribble moves. Let me invite somebody to my mic court real quick, and let me show y'all boys some moves that you could do on a six five and up, bro. So I got y'all. Don't even trip. All right. So seeing that you're on a 6'5", 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", whatever you're on, you're limited to the amount of moves that you can do compared to a 6'4". So the first move that you need to be utilizing, and this is not if, and, and you need to be utilizing this move because it's really good, okay? It's a drag snatch. That move right there, you need to be utilizing that move, bro. If you're getting clamped up, you need to implement this move right here. It's good. You can speed boost out of it. You could, it's just good for every, a lot of things. Combos, breaking, like defend, you know, like so sometimes you get attached, like a defender touches you. And the game just pulls you into them like non-stop you can't stop that's a good move to break that okay so you need to be utilizing that move on six five and up you need to okay so how to do that move is very very simple regardless of what hand the ball is in left or right hand all you gotta do is hold the right trigger turbo r2 whatever you like to call it and you flick your right stick up and then pull your left stick down regardless of which hand the ball is in left or right it's the same method regardless of which hand the ball is in. You hold the right trigger, you flick your right stick up, and then you pull your left stick down. It is really, really simple. It's a very good move. It doesn't take an adrenaline bar. It doesn't take no stamina, to be honest, and it's just good all-around move that you need to be doing, okay? The second move you need to be doing on a 6-5 and up, well, you don't need to be doing it, but this is a good move you could do, is the John Wall glitchy behind the back, okay? Hold on. Hold up. Let me go over here. Right. It looks like that, okay? So the John Wall Gucci behind the back looks like this, okay? Now you can spam it. You know what I'm saying? You can spam it. And yeah, it's just good. It stuns them if you have tight handles. It stuns them. Um, yeah, bro. And if they're and you could actually get them cold too. If you if you stun them and if you, if you're like killing them the whole game and you pull this off with tight handles, it can actually get them cold if they're already playing bad. If they miss like two three shots. And you got tight handles on and you do that and it stuns them it could actually turn them cold so it's a good move that you could be doing so how to do this move is really simple the ball is in your right hands what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold rt r2 turbo whatever you want to call it the ball is in your right hands right you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the left and then pull your left stick diagonally downwards to the right okay I repeat that again. If the ball is in your right hands, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the right trigger, RT, R2. You're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the left and then pull your left stick diagonally downwards to the right. If the ball is in your left hands this time, you're gonna hold the turbo. You're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right and then pull your left stick diagonally downwards to the left. One last time. The ball is in your left hands. You're gonna hold turbo. 
you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right, then you're gonna pull your right stick, your left stick diagonally downwards to the left. And that's how you do the John Wall glitchy behind the back, okay? <clears throat> now, the next move you need to be utilizing, because once again, you don't have a lot of moves on a 6-7, is your momentum. Your momentum is pretty simple. I'm going to show y'all boys the, the best way to momentum. There's two different ways. It's, this is going to be really, really quick, okay? Now, with this method, I'm going to show you don't lose the adrenaline bar. Don't do the generic method where people tell you push your, your right stick diagonally upwards to the left and hold your right trigger. Don't do none of that, bro. You're going to lose your adrenaline bars and momentum is just going to be killing you, okay? So what you do is if the ball is in your right hands, bro, you're simply just going to flick your right stick straight upwards and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Just like that, okay? I'm going to repeat it again. The ball is in your right hands. What you're going to do is you're going to flick your right stick straight upwards without holding the right trigger. Flick your right stick straight upwards and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. So boom, just like that. If the ball is in your left hands this time, buddy, what you're going to do is you're going to flick your right stick straight upwards again. And then you're going to push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. I'm going to repeat it one last time. The ball is in your left hands. You're going to flick your right stick straight upwards and push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. But what the hell was that? Hold on, buddy. Now, with this method, you don't want to hold your right trigger. You don't need to hold your right trigger. If you do hold your right trigger, he's not going to momentum and you're going to lose an adrenaline bar. So don't touch your right stick. You don't need your, I mean, right trigger. You don't need your right trigger to momentum this year. Now, the next thing you need to be doing, well, not need to, but you can be doing this if you want to be a way more effective dribbler on a 6-5 and up is utilizing your connectors, bro. Okay, you need to be utilizing your connector. So let me do a quick connector just to show y'all boys what a connector looks like. That's what, that's what a connector is. Now, basically what a connector does, it allows you to dribble non-stop, right? And by using connector, if you do a lot of connector combos, you get to dribble without you losing any adrenaline bar and your stamina barely goes down. Because with a lot of connector combos, you, you're not holding your right trigger, okay? So how to really do a connector is simply just pulling your left stick directly to the left or to the right after doing a, a move like a spin back and stuff like that okay so i'm going to show you boys three different connector combos that you can use and the first one is going to be this right here okay i'm going to show you the, the animations that are that are being triggered in this combo okay so there's a number of them the first one that I'm utilizing in this combo is the LeBron James moving crossover. This is the fastest one for this specific combo. There's other ones you could use, but the LeBron James is the best for this specific combo right here, okay? I'm also using my spin, my moving spin. The basic one is um, it's probably the only one you could use for this specific move right here. The best one by far for this move right here. And then the other move that I'm using in this combo is also the Luka Doncic step back the moving step back okay so these three moves right here are what's being used in this combos everything else you can have whatever you want as your six but for this combo to look the best to be the most effective these are the three that you want to use moving step back luka Doncic, moving cross over lebron james and what was the other one again and the moving spin basic okay this is how you do the move okay so let's say the ball is in your right hands what you're going to want to do is it coming up the right and pay attention clearly to what i'm saying okay because you need to focus on, on this one right here, okay? So you're coming up the court, the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flick your right stick up to trigger the crossover, okay? The LeBron James crossover, right? Once you get the LeBron crossover, the ball is now in your left hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your right stick from the right to the bottom. I mean, from the left to the bottom in a counter in a counterclockwise motion to get the spin back. So, so those first two steps is gonna look like this. Boom, boom, okay? Once you once you trigger the um the spin back, did I say step back? Once you trigger the spin back, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick your right stick downwards to get the Luka Doncic step back. So all together it's gonna look like boom, boom, and then flick your right stick down and get the Luka Doncic step back. Okay. Once you get the Luka Doncic step back from flicking your right stick down, the ball is now gonna be in your right hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push your left stick to the uh directly to the left to get the connector so all together it's gonna look like this boom boom flick connector okay i'm gonna repeat that one more time and don't worry i will have the controls on screen all slow down right after this i'm just gonna i just wanna make sure y'all get what i'm saying that i'm gonna have the controls on screen slow down okay so the ball is in your right hands bro you're coming up the court you're gonna flick your right stick up to trigger the crossover 
once you get the crossover triggered you're gonna rotate your right stick from the left to the bottom to get the spin back as soon as you get the spin back you're gonna flick your right stick straight downwards to get the Luka Doncic moving step back okay once you get the Luka Doncic moving step back the ball is now gonna be in your right hands once the ball is in your right hands you're gonna push your left stick directly to the left to get the connector so all together one more time boom 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 connector okay Now, if the ball is in your left hands this time, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna flick your right stick straight up to get the LeBron crossover. The ball is now in your right hands. Once the ball is in your right hands, you're gonna rotate your right stick from the right to the bottom. Bro, why did he switch his hand? Rotate from the right to the bottom in a clockwise motion to get the spin back. Once you get the spin back, you're gonna flick your right stick down to get the Luka Doncic step back, okay? So hold on, redo that. God damn, bro. Ball's in your right hands, rotate. Take your right stick down, get the Luka Doncic step back. Once you get the Luka Doncic step back, you're gonna push your right, your left stick directly to the right to get the connector, okay? So all together, left hand, flick right stick up, rotate, right stick down, left stick directly to the right, okay? The controls will be on screen. And with this move right here, you could chain it non-stop. So all together, I'm gonna do it non-stop. You don't have to, you can literally do both sides non-stop. So let's just like this. Boom, boom. Look, see? You could do this non-stop. And you don't lose adrenaline bars, you don't lose stamina because you're not holding your right stick. Don't touch your right stick at all. You don't lose any adrenaline bars and you barely use stamina because you're not even touching your right stick, bro. You can do this from 24 seconds all the way down and just kill people with this move, bro. People don't know how to guard this, okay? I'm gonna be showing y'all boys is the between the legs spam okay so first off you want to be able to get it down slow like this okay you want to be able to do it slow just like this once you got that down and you could do it like this then you're ready to move on to spam it fast okay so how to do the between the leg spam is what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna make sure you're holding RT R2 turbo whatever you want to call it and if the ball is in your right hand you're gonna flick your right stick straight upwards and then you're gonna push your left stick to the left okay when the ball goes over into your left hand, you're gonna flick your right stick straight upwards again, and then push your left stick over to the right and continuously spam that up. So once it comes back over to your right hands again, you're simply just gonna flick your right stick up again and then push your left stick over to the left. And you wanna make sure you're holding the right trigger, turbo, RT, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna make sure you're holding that the entire time. Do not release that, okay? You wanna make sure you're holding the right trigger the entire time you're doing it. And once you got it down slow, like I just showed you in the clip, you're gonna speed it up and just spam it, okay? That's all you're gonna do. Do it slow, get it down slow. Once you've mastered doing it slow like that, then you're just gonna speed it up and put it together and then you'll be able to spam it between the legs like you've seen in the other clip, okay? All right, so here's a simple, simple move that you could do that kills a lot of people and it's, it's so simple, but it kills them. So it's this move right here, okay? You see how simple that looks? That move gets people so much. It's, it's a simple misdirection. So basically what you're doing is you're triggering your crab and then you're gonna put the ball back over to your other hand and speed boost the other way. That was like one of my, I used to do that move almost every possession last year on 2K22 and I used to kill people with it. It's so simple, but it gets them. Like if you're coming up the court, you're doing a couple moves before, right? 
You get around here, you hit him with this. Bro, what the hell? Hold on. I pushed him right stick up on accident. You come up here, bro. You hit him with this. And then go the other way. A lot of times you get them because once you go this way, they either stop or they go that way thinking that you're going to go that way. As soon as you, you, you know what I'm saying, you finish the crab, you just switch it back over to the other hand and turbo. Pretty simple, right? So if the ball is in your right hands, you hold your right trigger, you flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left to do the crab. As soon as the ball comes over to your left hands, you release your right trigger, flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right, and then just P boost off, bro. Simple as that, right? Now the ball is in your left hand, same thing, hold the right trigger, flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right, release the right trigger, flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left, and then just P boost off to that side, okay? Now, I'm gonna show y'all something real quick with the Jimmy Butler. You could use it like this as like a quick stop and go. Quick, I messed that up. Yeah, but yeah, quick stop and go. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me do it from outside here so you can see properly. Quick stop and go, you know what I'm saying? Or you use it as a, as a misdirection. Stop and go, crab, and then you go back the other way again. Or you could do this, go back the other way. It's pretty simple. Flick your right stick down to trigger the Jimmy Butler while moving diagonally to the left or to the right. Now you could quick stop out of it. Not like that, cause I got the ball back, all right? Cause he didn't even give me the Jimmy Butler right there. But you flick it down, get a Jimmy Butler, and shoot immediately. You can shoot directly off of it and use it as a quick stop, right? Um, cause if you try to stop most times, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you're gonna fade. Well, I, I, did, I peaked right there. I, I didn't do it properly, but I still did it. But if you try to do it, you're gonna fade, right? You know what I'm saying? So you use the Jimmy Butler, flick your right stick down. And as soon as you flick your right stick down, you just shoot. You could actually do it way faster than that. I took mad long. But yeah, just flick your right stick down and then just shoot immediately, bro. So those are some simple stuff you could do on a 6.5. Uh, six now this is a 6.7 build. You need to be using your spin backs as well, which is pretty simple. You know, so if you're going straight up the court, the ball is in your right hands. You rotate your right stick from the right to the, to the bottom if the ball is in your right hands. You know what I'm saying? From the right to the bottom like that, you get the spin back. If the ball is in your left hands, you know what I'm saying? You rotate your right stick from the left to the bottom and you get the spin back. Now I'm gonna show y'all boys a quick, quick combo that you can do with a spin back. A quick, a quick move, right? So it's gonna be a, a, a spin into a half spin, right? So it's gonna look like this, boom, boom, just like that, right? And on the left side, it's gonna look like this, boom. Okay, I messed that up, I messed that up, I messed that up, I messed that up. <laughs> it's gonna look like this, bro. Just like that, right? Anyways, hopefully this the video did help y'all boys out, man. If it did, you know what I'm saying? I tried my best not to make this video too long. If it did, hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? My name is King Superior. I have a playlist in the description, man. Check it out. It's going to help you. There's tons of different moves in there you can check out. My name is King Superior, and I'll catch y'all boys in my next video, man. Peace.